my gosh, it's like a pigsty in here. Hey everybody, welcome to week two of Origami Safari. This week, the pigs have invaded my project space. So, let's get to folding. Okay, so to make the pig, it is not going to be any of the basic folds that we've started out with, but we are going to go ahead and start with a mountain fold. So we will go up to the top, make that crease, unfold, turn it 90 degrees, another mountain fold in the opposite direction. Okay, so here we will go into a hot dog fold upward and have those two meet. So at this point we've got three lines in our first piece of paper, or in our paper. What we're going to do now is take one side and make another hot dog fold to the middle of the paper and we'll go ahead and make a crease there. And if you want, you can fold it down, but I just like to turn my paper off upward and turn it around. And then we will go ahead and fold that paper to the middle as well. Okay. So now we've got this thinner piece of paper and you can kind of see there's two diagonals here and two diagonals here. So what is easiest to do, I think, is to now fold this piece of paper in half upwards, make that crease, and now we've kind of got like a little bit of a guideline to, to this. So what we'll do now is if you kind of pick up one of the corners, you can tell that there's like a little bit of a crease that it makes but we're not going to use that crease. Instead, we're going to slowly push towards the, the end, push towards outward that way, and push this piece of paper down. And what we want to do is have this little piece, so it's gonna go from up here to down here, and they will meet, and then we will push it down this way. So let's go ahead and get a close-up of that shot. Okay, so I've got my first one, and I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So what I'll do here is sort of kind of, this is where your main crease is going to be, and you're going to fold it over and sort of push this end part downward until it meets this middle section here. So this is where they fold out. You'll have that meet, and then you will push down and crease that inward. Okay. So when you kind of fold it up, you've got these two creases here, and you've kind of got like a little bit of a diamond, so that is our zoom in shot. Okay, so from here, we're going to do a similar pattern on the other side, but this time, because this is your head, these are going to be your feet and tail. So we're going to do a similar pattern here, where we kind of push it towards uh, the, the middle section and at this point these will actually meet so you can kind of see that right here they're meeting and then we're going to go ahead and make our crease here but instead of leaving it downward we are going to fold it down again so it's going to end up looking kind of like uh, the end of a triangle here and let's go ahead and zoom in on that so what you'll do is essentially the same thing. You'll push it downwards here. And you want it to kind of line up with that middle section. You'll make your crease, crease it here. But instead of leaving it down like this, we're going to fold it up because these are going to be our little piggy legs. Okay, so now we've got our clear distinction of where our head and our feet are. So what we're going to do now is have this fold that we've got here. And I'm going to double crease it because mine sort of came out. And then we are going to fold it downward so that we have a triangle on the outside with our little ear marks and the back where our feet are going to be. 
So then I'm going to turn it over and I want the triangle to be looking like a mountain. And from here, what I'm going to do is fold this forward. And then I've got my feet here. So what I want to do is I've got this clear line here. This end is going to meet that triangle. And I'm going to do it for my back leg as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make a crease here. I've got this line and I want my longer line to meet this crease right here. And then I'll turn it over and do the same thing. So here's going to be our ears. I'm going to fold it forward and crease where it meets that line. And here I will have these fold forward and meet this crease. All right, so now we've got our clear legs. These are our little legs. I'm going to turn it back over just so that we can compare it with our pigs here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and make my nose. So the way I want my nose to go is I'm just going to fold it upwards because this is going to be an inverted fold. So I just wanted to kind of fold straight up to where it looks like a rhinoceros a little bit. But then here's where I zoom in. So I've got my fold here. I'm going to unfold it and I've got a little bit of a crease. I'm going to open this pocket right here and push where that fold was. So now I've got a, a little pig that looks a little bit like a rhino. And so from here, I'm going to do the same thing I did a second ago and just kind of fold this straight down. Okay. And then I'm going to unfold it, turn it this way, open my pocket. I can see the little crease here. I'm going to push this crease inward. And this is important to know because this is how we're going to fix our, our feet to make them flat in the future. So now we've got our little pig snoot, his feet, and now we just need some ears. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and fold it over as if I was making just regular ears. But instead of leaving it like this, I'm going to unfold it. See where his leg is? I'm going to push this part forward and it's going to crease downward. So that's one of the ears and then I'll turn it over. I'll fold downward in the same kind of line it up with this one, open it, and push downward here. That will give me a little bit more trouble, but that's okay. So now I've got my two ears, and our face is starting to form. Okay, so now we are going to do the tail. It's similar to the nose. We are going to sort of make a fold upward. And it's okay if you go in between his legs. It won't let you go too far up. So that's going to kind of point upward, like a little bit of a rhino in the back as well. And then we are going to open this pocket once more and push that piece upward and fold it. Okay, and here's where you kind of just get a little bit messy. I like to just fold and then fold one more time for this tail. So it, if you want, you can honestly just like squeeze it until it kind of takes the shape of a curly cue. It doesn't have to be perfect because no pig tail is perfect. All right, so now we just can add a face and we've got our little pigs. So our last step is to add the flat feet. And the easy thing about that is that it's just exactly how we did the nose and the tail. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to zoom in for you a little bit or show you the up close, is we've got kind of inward folds on all of our feet that you can see. So what I'll do is make a bit of a fold outward 
on the front feet and then a little bit of a flat fold on the back feet. You don't want it to be too much otherwise it's going to be a very lopsided piggy which is okay too. And so we will open this little pocket and push that fold in and fold it back. So now we've got one flat foot. And we'll go ahead and do that for the rest of them. Push those folds in and then squish. In the back we will unfold, open up that pocket, push the fold in, and unfold, open, push that in, and squeeze it back. All right, so now we've got a little flat feet. And our last step is to give our pig his little face. So this is the easiest step. We are just going to flatten our pig and just give him one little eye, a little snout. We'll turn him over, give him another little eye and a snout. And now we've got our little farm of pigs. Thanks for tuning in with us this week on Origami Safari.